The president, by the way, reached a major milestone yesterday, and I don't feel like this has gotten enough tension. According to the Washington Post, which has been keeping track, I guess, yesterday, Trump told his 2,000th lie since taking office. <laughs> so happy lie 2K, everybody. 2,000 <laughs> lies in 11 months. He's averaging 5.6 false claims a day, which is impressive considering the fact he's only working about 2.6 hours a day. He really hides it in. And all the while that he's lying, he is continually imploring us to just believe him. We are just getting started. Believe me. 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 You think Abe Lincoln ever said believe me? Believe me, he did not. The um, the volume of fiction that comes out of his his orange mouth is really it's staggering. It's so brazen, I almost can't help but admire it. I watch it and I just go, "What? Two thousand lies is an unprecedented achievement." So tonight we're going to look back at his many prevarications with a new mini documentary that shows us how we got to this remarkable moment in misrepresentation. I would say, without a doubt, it was the greatest achievement in the history of lying. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. He is, quite simply, the Babe Ruth of <laughs> Obamacare covers very few people. Donald Trump makes Tricky Dick look like honest Abe. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. He said one nice thing about me. He said I'm a genius. He is the greatest liar of all time. C-SPAN presents Pants of Fire, the road to 2,000 lies. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. January 20th, 2017, Donald Trump puts his hand on the Bible and begins a historic journey to 2,000 lies. God looked down and he said, we're not going to let it rain on your speech. And Trump comes roaring out of the gate. He lies about the rain the crowds, his Time magazine covers, his victory margin. I guess it was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. And this is week one. I said he cannot sustain this pace. But Trump was just getting started. By March, he had amassed four times as many lies as any president had in two terms. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Sweden, that was a classic. Only Trump could have lied that lie. You know, the Cuban Americans, I got 84% of that vote. So many great lies. I mean, Obama's wiretap. You saw what happened with surveillance. But you stand by that claim about him? I don't stand by anything. I just, uh, you can take it the way you want. You even lied about lying. I think one of the greatest of all terms I've, I've come up with is fake. I guess other people have used it perhaps over the years, but I've never noticed it. And then there was Twitter. Game changer. Twitter proved to be a critical platform as Trump continued past 750 lies, finally hitting 1,000 lies in August of his first year. We've signed more bills, and I'm talking about through the legislature, than any president ever. For a while, Harry Truman had us. His PolitiFact numbers were off the charts. <laughs> this was unheard of. At that point, I think he knew it was in the bag, but he didn't let up. If anything, he doubled down. He said he interviewed me for three hours in the White House. It didn't exist, okay? It's in his imagination. After a long, arduous road, Trump achieved the impossible, his 2,000th lie in office. We can build the wall in one year, yes, sir. We and we can build it for much less money than what they're talking about. Can you compare it to Michael Phelps in 08, Roger Bannister running the four minute mile, a young Tiger Woods? It's unfathomable. He's got three more years, or maybe even seven, or maybe six months. Who the hell knows? President Trump's miraculous milestone in mendacity seems destined to stand the test of time. Bing, 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 bing. But even if it should fall to some future president, his place in the fake history books is forever secure, thanks to his total lack of shame 
unlimited capacity for and his pants of fire. The American dream is dead. Well, thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of a grateful nation. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>